Hey Cappies, what's up? I'm your host, Tissue Eiffel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Alright, this is Vixen Tarot After Dark. If you guys haven't already joined the fan, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and the bell right next to it. That way you don't miss out on more energy updates from me. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, go ahead and click on the link tree in the description box down below. You can also order an anonymous read from me as well from there, vixenterrorcraft.com. Alright, so let's go ahead and figure out what your person thinks of you. Okay, so this is the main person, the one that you, you know, however heels over or door, whoever it is, you're with, your crush, whatever, we're going to figure out what they think of you. Okay, and then we're going to go dive deeper with our Monday Tarot, and then we're going to get a card from the Oracle. Alright, Spirit, guys, and angels. What does this person think of Capricorn? Oh, Cappy, they see you as everything. This person definitely sees you as someone they just want to be with. It's like you are their world. It's like this person, you're always on their mind, okay? It's like they feel like they feel free flying high when they're with you. It's like they want to give you the world as well. This person definitely wants to be with you all the time. Um, you know, they just feel very elated. They feel as if, you know, it's like you complete them. It's, they feel as if when they're with you, it's like they've, they've met their match. So this could be a twin flame, a soulmate. I mean, we all have millions of soulmates. So I feel like this is more of like a twin flame kind of energy. This is a connection that can't be divided. They definitely feel at home with you. This person definitely loves all of every single piece of you. So this is like an unconditional love this person has for you. They feel like it's a huge win. They just feel like they would love, you know, they feel proud showing you off to the world. It's like you accept them for, for who they are and and they love that about you. It's like it's like you're you're just you're it. Aww. What else do we have? What does this person think of Cap? King of Discs. So this person definitely sees you as someone that, you know, very honorable. You're looked up to, um, you know, you inspire other people. So this could be maybe for what you do for work. Um, they see you as, it's like, you know, large and in charge. You, you definitely give them a sense of security. Um, you guys can definitely prosper together, okay? Um, it's like you guys can really venture off and grow together with something. It's like they see you as very ambitious, confident, very responsible about um, as far as, you know, your money goes, your financial situation, you taking care of that. Um, you know, they see you as very hardworking and open um, as far as, you know, as far as, you know, your financial status here, okay? It's kind of like you also raise their vibration when you're around them, okay? What else does this person think of Capricorn? Whoa! Got too many cards. Come on, spirit. Make it clear. <laughs> what does this person think of Capricorn? Wow, we also have the Queen of Swords here. So this person definitely sees you as someone that can definitely speak their mind. Um, it, it's like, I call this the Ice Queen right here. You definitely don't bite your tongue. Whatever you got to say, you say it, but you really don't say much. So when you do say something, it's very meaningful. Um, you're very clever, intellectual. You may be meticulous about certain things. Um, they feel as if you're also very smart too, besides you looking good and smelling good and all the things. Um, you just have no problem of telling it like it is. You're very direct, witty, honest, um, just super blunt. You're able to really use discernment 
So you guys can be very logical thinkers. Um, you do everything with logic and you kind of pretty much try and cut through the noise to really gather the information that you need. Okay, so it's like you like to just kind of get straight to the point <laughs> with everything. Okay. What else does this person think of Capricorn? Ooh, that's too many. Come on, Spirit, let's make it clear. What does this person think of Capricorn? God, I gotta do a lot of breathing while doing this one. It's like this person can't breathe when they're around you. They also see you as a prince of cups in the flip. Uh, so getting this card, this person definitely uh, feels as if you are, you know, you could, you could get moody. Um, you may not show your emotions. You have like an emotional overload. Like if if this person has something, anything emotional to say towards you, it's kind of like you're very reactive and defensive. Um, you could have explosive emotions going on inside. So they see you as like somebody that it's like you're a runner. Uh, you don't really like to talk about your feelings. Um, but you feel all the feels physically. You just don't speak about them. And they see that, you know, some of your feelings may stop you from taking action in your life. So it's kind of hard, you know, it's like the, it's like you don't like to jump the gun. Like I said, you're very logical, okay? Um, but you like to be romantic. You have a lot of romantic encounters. <laughs> um, that could be amazing at first, but, you know, when things start to unravel... It's like, of course, when you're romantic with someone, they like to be emotional, but you don't give off any emotions at all. You don't like to talk about past memories. Um, you just like to look forward to what feels good now in the moment instead of like what used to be or what could be. You're just all about feeling good in the moment. Yeah, so you guys can definitely... That could be very physical, more than verbal. What else is person? We also have ten of discs in the flip here, okay? So, uh, this person definitely feels as if you, you know, it's like they see something going on with you. You might have like a shaky foundation with this person it's like you guys never really got to build a solid foundation probably due to the status of you not um being emotional with this person or sharing your emotions or how you feel so you're very um cut off from them you only give them enough um you might be very into your work and your financial investments and things of that nature um they may also see that uh, if you look here you know, you might be going through some hard times financially, Capricorn. Um, wow. Maybe they know that you're going through a divorce. Um, your property could be in danger. I'm feeling like, like if we get this card, maybe this person is very uh, intuitive, whoever you're dealing with here. They see, they see that you wear whatever you're going through uh, through your eyes. It's kind of like you, you're so busy. It's just you run around in survival mode. So it's kind of as if you're really just all about the money and then being in the moment physically. That's like all they really, that's all they really see about you. So let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Let's see, what else is this person? Like, where is this coming from? Where is this coming from here? Alright, let's get 
some more messages from this person. What else is going on? Let's dive a little deeper spirit. What they got to say. This person doesn't like to talk to you about everything. They feel as if you won't listen to them. They do know that you are also intuitive. Like when when you're around them, they feel as if you can have whatever you want. <laughs> it's like so this person definitely does have a uh you have a hold on them. It's as if it's like you can do anything. The way you touch, the way you talk, the way you look at them, um the way you walk, it's like everything. It's like they just literally melt in your hands. It's kind of like they see you as the magician energy where you can pretty much make anything happen. Um, you know, it's like they're and they're also trying to manifest you. They want to manifest your true potential. They want to see you really like they see you have the spark about you and they really want to see you pour more energy into what you guys have going on so it's like they're really pulling all their resources to really manifest this connection with you or to be with you in a certain way it's like um they see you having all the tools and they have all the tools to make this happen but it's just not appearing so it's like they're constantly trying to be innovative to figure out how they can pull this together to where you can see this within yourself and also see it with this person they feel as if you guys have so many opportunities together. Uh, we also have the death card here in the flip. So this person definitely uh, wants change. Uh, they may secretly be obsessed with you. Uh, this person definitely may be in love with you. They really want you to themselves, but they feel like they can't have you to themselves. Um, so they, they have this fear or uncertainty. Possibly because you're not expressing your feelings, so it's like you're resisting any type of change. Um, you give this person a false sense of security. So you guys could possibly, you know, be telling them one thing and then your actions don't back that up. Um, it's like you're resisting, you're resisting this. It's like you want to stay in control, so you'd rather stick with what you know and what's going on with your life versus letting this person in. Okay? Um, it's like they really want to embrace everything with you, but they're just not able to experience that with you. They, they feel as if when you guys are together, it's freedom, it's fearlessness, you know, it's like you guys can pursue your wildest dreams together. Um, and they feel as if you can really reach your full potential if you just allow them to come in and move beyond your complacency in life and just go with the flow and realize that you know you're basically standing in the way of this connection so maybe you just need to be more emotionally involved capricorn with this person besides just being physical figure out what's going on in their life what do you want to do what are their dreams and aspirations share that with them how do you feel about this person you know be more vocal okay what else first think of capricorn Angels. Yeah, they just want you to show a little bit more attention. It's like you're not, you're only giving them enough to keep them on. Yeah, we have nine of wands here in the flip. So uh, this person definitely, you know, they just feel... They feel a sense of like you want them, so it's like this claustrophobic energy, but then it's like you really don't follow through. So it's like, you know, they feel some kind of, you know, resentment in a sense. So maybe this could be uh, someone that you've dealt with before that you're dealing with now or you guys are off and on. So it's kind of like since you're the runner, okay, um, Prince of Cups, since you kind of run from your emotions and feelings and you guys come back together, um... It's like some type of paranoia, okay? Um, they don't want to feel as if there's people going to be coming after them if they are with you and vice versa. It's kind of like, it's like uh, they see you as like unwilling to make any kind of commitment. So you guys are very non-committal, okay? 
but it's like you've gotten this far and you don't want them to get away. So they see you as someone just really lacking the skills to keep them, um, you know, to take it to the next level pretty much here, okay? So it's kind of like they're, it's like they just have this fear, um, but yet they still want to move forward with you. They want to make peace. They want you to make peace with your fears in there so that you guys can come together. That's why we have the strength card here in the flip. Um, Capricorn, they definitely are a little bit apprehensive. They may be doubting this connection, but they're so anxious to be with you. They just want you. And I guess you're not giving, you're not giving all of you. Uh, so they recently lost their confidence and after experiencing a setback with you, so maybe you guys broke up, maybe you guys weren't talking, we stopped seeing each other. Um, and so they felt like all these bumps in the road is kind of, it's like doubting, they're, it's like building up a lot of doubt. So they're kind of timid to step forward, but they want to step forward with you. So they're really questioning, you know, should we be together? Is this, ti is this the right timing? I feel as if the timing may be off. So you probably have found this person or they found you, but the timing is off. Yeah, that's what it's saying here. So it's like, it's like take a deep breath, Spirit tell me. And I've just been breathing this whole time too, which is crazy. Um, like deep breaths. It's kind of as if there is some, maybe a minor delay. Um, they feel as if you can change this situation. Okay, so that way there's, you know, there's no weakness here. Let's get one more. It's like they really want you to think of how supportive and that, uh, that they've been toward you. All right, so we've got the Four of Cups here that came out in the flip. Okay, so getting the Four of Cups here. Yeah, this person definitely, uh, they see you as like kind of stubborn. Um, you're very self-absorbed, so you've lost a lot of opportunities with this person here, and it's been right under your nose to live a better life. Um, you know, it's like you're completely unaware of even maybe your own issues. They maybe see you as a scattered person. You really don't know what you want, or it's like you have a lot of, maybe you went through some trauma in your childhood. Um, it's hard for you to solve any kind of problems, so you just run from any type of anything emotional you don't like talking about anything but you know you achieve your goals and that's great but you know it's more satisfying when you can experience the journey together so they just want you to it's kind of like they feel as if they're the only one on this ride they feel as if you know you, you kind of leave this person out in the cold okay so it's kind of like they feel lonely and you withdraw from them so then they feel as if they need to withdraw. So you guys can be back and forth, talking, not talking, break up to make up. <laughs> um, they just really want you to open yourself up and just say yes. All right. What do you want Capricorn to leave with? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What would you like Capricorn to leave with? Whoa. Sheesh. I'm telling you, these cards... It's like a lot of you guys have so much to say and you're just not saying it. A lot of you guys are keeping things to yourself. Travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. So Capricorn, um, possibly you could be traveling with this person or Spirit's telling you guys that you need to travel. Maybe you need to get away from your environment. They need to get away from their environment. And you guys just be together and really have a deep conversation that can really be life-changing for both of you. Now, you may feel very timid uh, by telling this person what's going on with you, and that's why you're holding back emotionally. But this person is, loves you unconditionally. They're willing to just really uh, listen, okay, as long as you're willing to dish it out. So maybe you guys need to be alone in order to do that. This is an in-person. If you're not traveling, just to be in-person versus on the phone or texting. Um, and as you can see, it's really going to light things up for you guys. It's really going to make a huge difference. All right, Capricorn, if this video resonated with you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below. See you in the next one. Peace.